Hi guys, so today um, I was just rebuilding my um, nitro engine from um, my nitro truggy, the Thunder Tiger Tomahawk. As you can see there, I've just put some drift tires on it, having a bit of fun. Um, and as you can see there, it's leaking. I decided to <coughs> to re you know, re um, uh, rebuild it, and I got to this stage here, and you know I've sort of I've done this sort of middle bit here. I've cleaned all the um, cylinder head off and all the carburetor and all that area. And I came to here and I was just looking at it and wondering how many people actually knew how the clutch systems work. So I thought I'd do a quick video to show. So this is the clutch housing, if you like, that slots on on there, like that. Um, and then that, in a way, is the pinion that connects to the spur gear in the car. So here, as the revs grow, this being a centrifugal um, clutch, if you like, um, not focusing properly, there you go. But as the RPM increases, or the rotations per minute increases, the these little bits here move out like that. Same on the other side, like that, gripping the inside of this here. And obviously that creates a bit of wear both on there um, and in here. In here it creates, um, you know, clutch dust in a way. Um, which you know you can just wipe off and there's a lot of it on here especially behind there you can see at the end of my finger there's a lot back there um, so just if you if you find that it's sort of not gripping properly or sort of um, even if you know if you're putting it at full throttle but it's not actually moving that could well be a reason um, yeah, also I was driving it today and the throttle servo broke so I'm going to re replace it for one of those up there. So yeah, um, yeah, so hope you like this quick video. Just thought some people might find it interesting, other people might not, so yeah. Hope you enjoy it and um, see you soon. Bye. Thanks.